All right, this morning we are exploring the private art collection of a local philanthropist. Uh, this collection is massive and many of the pieces have never been seen before in person. Shane Wells is checking out this incredible highlight gallery at the Cat Gallery. Just imagine 3,000 pieces of modern and contemporary art safely stowed away. They have to get unboxed and a lot of the stuff here because he really focused on glass art very breakable as we know and then you have pieces like this we have Andy Slough with us he is the executive director here at the Confession Art Trust Gallery in Shoreview and can give us a little more insight into this process when it comes to picking the highlights you didn't have a room with 3,000 pieces to walk around and look at nope nope I had it all do uh, yeah, I used pictures basically in our database to decide what was going to be in the final exhibition and I went through a lot of them and some had to be edited out, some had to be edited in, but you know, it, it needed to be cohesive. Sure, that's a big job and then you finally get here and get to see what it looks like. So this is one piece I know that you were excited about. Tell us a little bit about it. Yes, this is by Sam Gilliam who uh, unfortunately just passed away last year but he's one of the most prominent african-american artists in the 20th century and 21st century and this particular piece pantheon nine is an excellent example of this work in the 80s where he was inspired by the improvisational nature of jazz and african-american quilts in the south think like g's bend and so he decided an improvisational approach to make his pieces from that. And so these are separate components to build out the final artwork. Wow, and a lot of different mediums that he's used in there as well. Yep. Let's keep progressing through. You still see a lot of glass, and yep. I know that that is something that um, Gerard was known for collecting. Yeah, he was an avid fan of glass and for many, many years. And I wanted to be able to show the breadth of that uh, because a lot of people are familiar with Dale Chihuly. He's a household yes. name, of course, and we had that show. But I was really excited to be able to show the diversity of voices and approaches in glass sculpture. Can we talk about this one? Because this was a surprise to me. <laughs> yes. uh, Picasso and glass? <laughs> this is Colombo uh, by Pablo Picasso. And uh, it just so happened that um, he got into contact with a glassblower from Murano named Egidio Constantini. And they had uh, many letters between them, from what I understand, and eventually he, Picasso was convinced to go down to Murano and he would sketch out what Constantini would inevitably have to create in glass. I think it's so he designed it and yeah. then that man went ahead and brought it to life. Yes, exactly. And it, it's very, very much Picasso. I even feel like it could scurry away at any moment. <laughs> <laughs> see, I see like the eye on there and everything. It definitely has that movement to it. Yep. Andy, thank you. We were only to really had time to talk about a few objects here that are on display as part of the new highlights gallery. So if you would like to come through, it is free and open to the public, but they're open Thursday to Saturday and you do need to make a reservation to come through, get your tour and learn a lot more about all these pieces that are here and on display. With that, we'll send it back to you.